fourth down at halftime. A previous video introduced straight ahead action in which you create the first drawing, then the second one, then the third one, etc. This style of animation is expressive, but it can be hard to plan the scene or to go back and adjust the timing. Another video described the odd rule, which says that the spacings when slowing out from an apex follow a simple pattern of 1 to 3 to 5 to 7, etc. This rhythm is useful to have in mind when animating by straight ahead action. A principle of animation is that there are two basic styles for creating animation, straight ahead and pose to pose action. In pose to pose action, you start by creating the first and last key drawings. You also decide how many drawings to put in between the first and the last. Next, you create the breakdown drawing, which goes halfway in time between the first and the last drawing. You then finish by creating any remaining in-between drawings. Pose to pose action is less spontaneous than straight ahead, but it's easier to plan a scene from start to finish. Fourth down at halftime is a useful rule for animating falling motion by pose to pose action. The fourth down at halftime rule says that for falling motion, the breakdown drawing is a fourth of the distance from the apex. In this example, key number three is the breakdown drawing. In space, key number three is a fourth of the way down between number one and number five. In time, key number three is halfway between number one and number five, since it is the breakdown drawing. Let's shoot some video reference to verify the fourth down at halftime rule. By the way, I did a poor job in staging for this video. When you shoot your own video reference, try to stage it so that your background is uncluttered. Having a clean background lets you see the action clearly. You should also hold the camera steady. Now let's analyze this video reference. The left image shows the ball at the apex on frame 57. The right image is 10 frames later, just before I catch the ball. The middle image is the breakdown, and you see that the ball is a fourth of the way down from the apex to the bottom. Fourth down at halftime gives you the position of the breakdown drawing regardless of the number of frames per drawing. The illustration on the left is for three frames per key. The one on the right is six frames per key. Here's an example of a ball drop from a height of four feet shot on twos. That is two frames per key drawing. Key number four is the breakdown key halfway between number one and number seven. The distance from the apex to the breakdown is one foot, since that is a quarter of the distance from the apex to the bottom. In computer animation, the fourth down at halftime rule is easy to use in the graph editor. After selecting the top and bottom keys, just position the breakdown key as shown here. The computer will automatically calculate the position of the ball on all the other frames. By the way, this graph editor curve needs to be flat at the apex. Don't forget to uh, check that. In traditional animation, you have to draw the in-betweens yourself. Here's uh, one way to do it. For the top spacing, the in-between is a fourth of the distance from the apex. For the bottom spacing, the in-between is a little above the center of that spacing. Another way to draw the in-betweens is to use the falling a la chai recipe. First draw the interval from the first and last keys. 
divide the interval in half and mark a key. Then divide the top in part in half and mark another key. Divide the top part of that in half and skip. That is, no key here. Finally, divide the top part of that in half and mark one more key. This gives you the breakdown drawings plus the two in-betweens. The lower in-between is going to be slightly too high, but no one will notice. Now, Felling Alachai uses fourth down at halftime. In fact, it uses it twice. Key number three is a fourth of the distance down and is halfway in time between keys number one and number five. Key number two is a fourth of the distance down and is halfway in time between keys number one and number three. Finally, the fourth down at halftime rule isn't just for falling motion. It applies whenever the acceleration or deceleration is constant. For example, a sliding brick coming to a stop due to friction follows the fourth down at halftime rule. Fourth down at halftime applies if the odd rule applies, which it often does for slowing in or slowing out. In summary, in pose-to-pose -pose animation, the first and last keys are fixed, then the breakdown and in-between keys are filled in. The fourth down at halftime rule says that the breakdown key is a fourth of the way down from the apex. Falling a la chai is an extension of fourth down at halftime for estimating in-between keys. And fourth down at halftime applies if the odd rule applies which it often does for slowing in or slowing out. In some of the other videos, we'll look at more complicated motion in which these rules do not apply. But even in those cases, these rules do serve as a starting point for understanding the timing and spacing of complex motion. See you then.